So hi everyone and welcome to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Darren and with my wife Elaine we are here renovating this tiny house in central Portugal. Today's project or one of today's projects is to be getting on with making our room, our space a little bit more comfortable to live in. So for those of you who may remember, we picked up a settee from out of a skip about a year ago. Uh, it's a little bit big for this room. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a renovation on the settee. So this is the settee that we picked up from the skip about a year ago now. It's quite long, as you can see. And what we need to do is we need to try and fit it into this space just here between these two walls, between here and here. And what that means is that we have to take off about 30 centimeters from the length of this sofa. So what we did think about was taking a section out of the center of the settee. But what that means is that then we would have to, we would have structural problems inside there because there's a lot of springs and, well, there's a few springs uh, going on inside there that may cause us problems when we come to put it back together again. So what we did decide to do was actually take off both ends. We're going to take off both of the armrests and that's going to be about 40 centimeters that we're going to be removing or thereabouts and hopefully that will enable it to fit in to that space. So let's give it a go. Okay so this is the underneath of the sofa of the settee and as you can see it's a little bit uh, a little bit rough and ready a little bit old but the idea is that we can take off this section here uh, this is the armrest section and what it will do is it will leave all of this structure still in place so we won't have to get involved with uh, moving any of these springs or these metal bars or anything like that so really the idea is that we should just be able to cut through here or thereabouts and take off the armrests and then I'm trying to save as much of this material as I can to obviously fold around to make it good once we've done that. Okay, so mission accomplished. We've managed to take off the end um, armrest on this side and uh, not take the end armrest off on this side and it still fits in that space, which is really, really good. Probably looks at its absolute worst at the moment. Uh, because down the bottom here, obviously, I've lost a few legs. But uh, but come tomorrow, we'll get back on with it, and we'll get that tidied up at that end and get an end on it, basically. Okay, so that's the settee sorted for us now, then. It may seem a little bit of ex extreme, um, taken off one end of it, but it was no use to us, really, uh, in the scheme of things in this room. It wasn't really worth us keeping it. It just took up too much space. So, uh, so yeah, we have taken the end off it, but it would now work for us. And also it's very old and we did find it in a skip, making good use of things that we find really. And uh, yeah, hopefully we've done that. Does anybody else feel like when you're getting ready to go shopping or out or anything, it's like mobilizing all forces? Have to get the dog in the car have you got water for the dog where's the dog's ball he has a separate ball that just stays in the car have we got the recycling have we got the bags for the shopping but anyway yeah let's get on to get it done you have got the keys haven't you i think i have yes I'm sure I have put them in the car. Yeah. Oh, good grief. Yes, we've got the keys. Okay, little Max, we're eventually ready. Sorry to keep you. Our village doesn't have a recycling centre. A lot of villagers have like three um, of those big tub bin things where you can put your paper, your glass and your plastics and tins. Yeah. But ours doesn't have one. We just have like a general 
bin. big green bin. Yeah, just yeah. For general stuff. Yeah. So we always try and um, separate out the recyclable stuff, yeah. and we pass lots of them on yeah, okay. our way into town. So easy enough just to pop them in the bin. Recycling yeah, recycling bin. bins. Yeah, on the and way. And then yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's go get done. We're here in Castella Branco. Before we get on with our jobs, we have been waiting for confirmation that we sold the silver Corsa. And we know that everything went through properly because we came here to the office. Sorry, it's really busy. Um, we came here to the office with the guys that bought the car and everything was done but what we need is confirmation of the sale, probably like a sales agreement number or something for our insurance. I'm just keeping an eye on Darren because he hasn't even managed to get into the office yet. So it's Monday morning. It's probably really busy and probably the worst time to come. But let's hope he can go in and ask why we haven't received anything or oh, what I'm hoping is the lady that did all of the documentation on the computer she can give him the reference number that the insurance company require because we need to cancel the insurance on it and uh, they won't accept our verbal saying we have sold the car need a special document reference number. So, we will sit and wait. So, I never managed to get the paperwork that I required to get the car details cancelled. However, I did manage to pick up the email address and I think it might just be a little bit easier for me to email her anyway and say, look, we haven't got this stuff. Uh, we needed to cancel our car insurance and uh, yeah could you hopefully send it to us by email it'll probably be a little bit easier in the meantime Elaine's in there getting some roll plugs you've got glue yeah I think we've got everything we need yeah hopefully yeah so uh, some food. oh we need some food so off to Lidl it is so we're at Lidl at the moment just done our food shop and do you know how everything kind of falls apart when you forget your mobile phone? Because that sounds a little bit modernist, I suppose, but you use your mobile phone for everything. Elaine was just saying she had a mobile phone with her shopping list on it, so she knew exactly what she was getting from Lidl. Um, but then she hasn't got the phone, so she's had to do that by remembering or just picking up pieces as she went round. Plus, it's also got her app on there as well, so she hasn't paid with her app. Uh, or pay, you know, or got the rewards onto her app, you know. So it's little things like that, but it, all of it's kind of insignificant. It doesn't really matter, but it still throws, it kind of throws you out of that pattern of what you normally do. So you normally do this and you normally do that, and the pattern gets a little bit lost. It's like, it's like you've, like when you've forgotten something, and uh, you know you've forgotten something, and you can feel that you've forgotten something, but you don't know what it is. It just throws your, throws your brain out just a little bit. I think that's what's happened to Elaine at the minute. So, uh, so yeah, she's just putting the trolley back and uh, we're going to get ourselves away off to the next china shop. I don't know if Elaine's mentioned yet, but we're trying to find some foam, kind of not high density foam, but some foam to put on the settee that we've been uh, renovating. So good morning, everyone. So after our trip to Castello Branco yesterday, we picked up a few supplies, a few bits and bobs. Uh, we feel like we've got enough now to be getting on with some jobs today. Um, 
kind of like smaller jobs really like filling in a few holes I'm also going to do a bit of work on a big hole on the front of the house because we're expecting rains probably in the next week so I need to get that waterproofed at the front of the house and then we can start to to work on that so it's a few kind of more bitty jobs to get on with today but first we're down the land and giving the plants a water because they get a little bit neglected at the moment well by me not by Elaine of course but uh, so we're just down the land at the moment uh, yeah just giving them a bit of a water and they're all doing really 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 well really 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 well so the plug plants that we put in on the hall are doing really well um, this is probably one of my best broccoli that I put in although the broccoli took a real hammering so I lost just under half of the plants that I put in I bought 20 and I've got one, two, three, four. oh and I've got exactly 10 left so exactly half um, but last week I was picking off these big thick black slugs and I think they've either come in on the bought compost that we've got or more likely it came in on the the hay that we're using as a mulch um, probably like some eggs or something so I was picking those off and I haven't seen any this week so I'm hoping that I've managed to break the cycle there and the plants have picked up really well I will have to try and get some more to replace what was lost one or two of them might survive poor little bedraggled thing look at it eaten but if I can get them to this stage where they putting on real good growth then they can fight the pests a couple of caterpillars getting onto the um, the tall Portuguese cabbage um, but at least they're easy to see and you can pick them off and squish them so that's what you did they get gone these are all doing really well a few holes in them but oh there's another couple oh yes quite a few but that one can come off there we go that one's a bit holy yeah normally you would net them but in all honesty it's just uh, too much of a, a job um, they're predominantly winning against the cabbage white whites. caterpillars the, yeah. the cabbage whites and uh, I need some of these for my soup before we leave strawberries are doing amazingly well these strawberries have been everywhere we first we planted them around the pond thinking that they would help to knit the soil together but it's just so much clear just dried out and almost choked them to death so we dug them back out and replanted them here outside the garden house and it's middle of October and we've got flowers and fruit on the strawberries which is amazing so they're just looking after themselves they've all set runners so I'm hoping that as time goes on over the years this whole sort of little slope here will just be filled with a mass of strawberries that keep perpetuating themselves so that would be brilliant lots of um, cabbages and interplanted them with turnips and radishes they're doing fabulously uh, a couple of these uh, cauliflowers are looking like they've been hit with a BB gun yeah. they look more like lace than leaves but I can't find anything left on there so I'm thinking the little caterpillars have just eaten through and then gone even went in onto the beetroot as well but I think they'll survive. I think they'll keep growing. The plants look strong enough. And they don't like the red cabbages. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah, other than that, we've been eating every day from the salads, the lettuce and radishes that we put in. And then up in the veggie gar beds, all of the roots, the, the root bed that we put in with loads of carrots absolutely excellent germination i'll just go and show you that here's the carrots really good germination they're all looking a bit flat because i've just watered them so they'll just perk themselves back up as they 
dry off but lovely rows of carrots for some reason Darren's carrots didn't do as well but I have just added in some extra seeds it was a different variety so probably not uh, doing as well because of the variety so all in all yes enjoying our mornings we're trying to get a better balance this week more outside than being stuck inside getting on because the the big job of knocking the wall and everything out is over it's easier to start a job and leave it and then just come and get some peace and quiet so it's better right but it is time to go back and start again okay so i'm going to grab some lettuce and some salad for lunch and i need some cabbage for my soup and we can be away okay there we go that's a little bit better trying to find a shady spot <laughs> to, so that i'm not looking directly into the sun something like the 8th of october and it's still really really warm today what my job today is to i think i mentioned it on a previous video is to repair this hole in the in the wall here it's not actually our building it's the building next door to ours that's attached to ours and uh but we believe that water is coming in through that through there and into our living room space so i've cleared all of the excess uh old stuff away from there the other day and it's dried out nicely now and then we're going to mix up a diera mix diera roboco mix exterior version and we're going to use that for filling that another job that i'm getting on with today is painting or preserving these pieces of wood here because these pieces of wood are going to be attached to the front of our house going across here because we're going to be building a porch to stop the rain coming down into our tiny garden area i decided to do this in the middle of the day <laughs> yeah i think you will be better off waiting until this afternoon trouble is we've got a mix now yeah i'm gonna have to get it in have to get it in it's not too bad it's not too hot okay let's give it a go yeah do all right with max there not at the minute good how am i doing Not as good as it would have been if I did it. Mm. It's the words you're trying to think. Mm. <laughs> okay, so Elaine wasn't impressed with my plastering skills. So I said, we'll get the expert back on it. Okay, so here we are back in uh, Castello Branco again, uh, Wednesday morning, and we're just picking up the roof panels to go on the front of our house and some wood. Uh, we've come back to our favorite wood yard uh, where they're gonna cut us a couple of pieces. We tried Max Mat, we also tried Brico Marsh, but the wood in there, it's honestly, yeah. So we've come here to try and get some straight pieces of wood. And yeah, they're going to cut us a couple of pieces now. Then we'll be done. We can get ourselves back. 
You may be wondering what happened to that sofa, that poor dejected thing that Darren cut one end off at the beginning of this episode. Well, here it is. What happened was we needed it to be thinner, so yes, an arm got cut off. Um, we needed it to be higher because it was very low to the ground. So Darren made four new legs and they've all been attached. We've got some cushions to help with the comfort on the seating part of it. And Max has given it his seal of approval because he spent the last two nights sleeping on it. Finds it very comfy. <laughs> Good boy. All we need now is the rest of the painting done in here. Okay, so we've been really up against it as far as the weather is concerned. We're expecting some rain in the next couple of days. So we've been building this porch. I think we told you a little bit about that at the beginning of the video. So we've repaired the hole in the wall here. So hopefully that will prevent any rain coming into our living space in there. We've also done a little bit of work on the, uh, on the guttering on the external house next door where we think also rain's coming in so we've done a little bit of work on there as well but the main job that we've done is that we've put up this porch area and it's taken us a day and a half probably maybe nearly two days to get it up but it's looking really really good feeling really really sturdy and i think it's going to keep the rain off yeah, so we've, we've used the existing structure that was already here. This structure was here just really for a, a grapevine that goes up the house. We think that was the only reason this was here, but it's been really useful to help us start building this structure. We've also used some wooden posts here as well, which are really solid, really sturdy, and I think it's come out really, really well. We're really pleased with it. Well, thank you very much for spending some time with us again this week. We hope you've enjoyed seeing what we've been up to and we're really pleased with the work that we've got done this week. Yeah, yeah. It's been another big week. It's been a bit of busy week, so we haven't managed to show much on camera, but we didn't show you all the boring bits anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. you've seen people paint before. Yeah, yeah. And there's lots more painting to do. There is. Anyway, take care and we will see you on the next one. On the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>